After you've identified and greeted your patient, ask if they've had issues with blood draws in the past. If so, you may need to have them lie down. If not, you may proceed. After putting on gloves, tie the tourniquet three to four inches above the site to prevent it from getting in your way. Be sure the pull tab is going upward. Palpate the antecubital fossa for a vein. Cleanse with alcohol using back and forth motion. Circular motion is no longer recommended by the CLSI standards of practice for phlebotomy and allow to dry. Insert the needle at a 30 degree angle or less. Quickly, but not so fast you go through the vein. You may use butterfly or straight needle as the situation dictates. Please note though, butterfly needles are a smaller gauge and will flow at a slower rate. While the laboratory prefers all blood tubes to be filled to capacity, the minimum specimen volume for venipuncture blood lead tests is one milliliter, about one centimeter in the collection tube. Once you've finished collecting the blood, remove the tube from the adapter and remove the tourniquet. Place gauze, not cotton, according to the new standards of practice for phlebotomy guidelines, over the site and remove the needle. Immediately put pressure on the site. Ask the patient, parent, or guardian to hold pressure on the site for one to two minutes. Discard your needle into a sharps container immediately. Mix the specimen by gentle inversion five to seven times. Label the specimen tube with the patient's name and data collection and show the tube to the patient, parent, or guardian to be sure it's labeled correctly. After holding pressure for one to two minutes, check the site for bleeding. According to the standards of practice for phlebotomy, this is a requirement and should only take five to 10 seconds. As you see, Shelly is still bleeding and requires pressure for an additional minute or two. You may use this time to chat with your patient, parent, or guardian about the length of time to leave the bandage on, which is about an hour. Check the site again if necessary. Once the bleeding has stopped, place a bandage over the site. When this is complete, be sure to thank your patient and answer any questions they may have.